Hot Tech Alert, episode 279, non-informative, for March 23rd, 2012. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Pod Tech Alert, the unofficial Halo Universe podcast. I am your host, Dust Storm, and I have with me... Daft Link. Hello. Hello. And our subsidiary co-host. I don't, I don't know what to call you anymore, Keith. Because you're you're like a co-host, but you're not quite the co-host. You're like the backup co-host. I don't know. We need to come up with a fancy title for you. Subsidiary. Subsidiary. Oh, it's hard to say. I. I or we can Is say tertiary title? host. I don't. I don't know. Tertiary. 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 Um, <laughs> do you want me to ask you what you should uh, tell you what you should call me? I don't know. We just need to come up with something that's I don't know. Um, it's like what do we call you? Because I mean, Greg. I mean, Greg's not here tonight, but Greg's a co-host. Staff's a co-host. You're. I'm a podcaster. Official. <laughs> just fellow podcaster. Consistently, that's the only thing I can be. Mm-hmm. I don't want no title. Just podcast. I don't want no. Uh, I don't want no responsibility of being a co-host. That means he wants every responsibility. There's a double negative. Boom. Oh, you, you You're drafted. You, got, you think you got me figured out? You're uh, drafted. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. I, that's what I do. Mind. That's what I do to podcast. No. Yes. No. I'll do this one, but I won't do that one. Podcatheter? Is that what you said? Yes. No. <laughs> wow we we are totally derailed right now yes but to get back on the yeah, race so who, who's seen that new max Payne trailer yes no at least it's gaming related holy cow anyways uh not much to talk about this week so we'll probably have a short show and and um greg is actually you wish. in the middle of moving so good luck to him on finding a new place He's he's not like moving cities. He's just moving to a different apartment complex. But yeah, he should be he's back. He's looking at studios. <laughs> That's no excuse. <laughs> but he should be back next week, so we can we can. Whatever. You won't you won't have to miss him for too long. Whatever. Um, should have been here. But that's that's why we have Yuki as our backup. Oh, is that all this time? Mm-hmm. I had no idea. Yeah, exactly. That was a backup. I thought I was on the billing. <laughs> Anyways, so some of the things we want to talk about are kind of small things. We don't really have any big Halo 4 news, but uh, from the bulletin for this week, we do have a little bit of info on Wraparound. Uh, I'm assuming both of you guys have already seen the bulletin for this week. Uh, <laughs> I'll take that as a, yes, I saw it was there, but I haven't read it yet. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, we don't. I mean, we have two screenshots. We have one of, I'm guessing, is part of the skybox where we see these giant pillars reaching into clouds, which is kind of cool. <laughs> what? What's so funny? <laughs> what is such in a silly mood? <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I don't know if uh, my leveling program will catch any of that in the in the uh, post processing, but that, that <laughs> Daft is making some really interesting noises at the moment. <laughs> He's in a goofy mood. Yeah, no kidding. Uh, then there's another screenshot of I guess some kind of interior of the tower, but I I mean we have some description of wraparound but that's that's about it we don't have any solid details for the most part uh we from the write-up that we have on the waypoint article we can see that it was one of the first maps out there and that's probably one of the reasons why we it was shown to us is 
because it was one of the first that was conceived for Halo 4. Um, it looks... There, there's talking here about jump gaps, and I'm guessing more or less like man cannon stuff. Is that Does that kind of make sense? Yeah. In the footage that we saw? Yeah. So... Um, in depth looking hold on I mean looking at this there's really not much to pull from it's not much we haven't been given that much yeah I mean that's the thing I mean <laughs> we could talk about it's, a, it's not much to, for us to pull apart for us <laughs> to the point where we yeah. might look stupid later <laughs> mm-hmm. you mean like oh we can make a lot of assumptions here well, this is a sentence that they put in the bulletin, and I'm guessing. Yep. Yeah, you're drunk. <laughs> 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 oh goodness. Damn. Uh, <laughs> I'm guessing this was written by B.S. Angel when she wrote with the bulletin. Yeah. But there's a sentence here that says the two most common reasons are, uh, and this is about withholding information. The two most common reasons are we prefer only to share that which is close to final or uh, close to final or final, or there is a plan which involves its usage in the future. So basically if, if they have something that's pretty much close to being done or they've already finalized it, then they're willing to show it. If not, then they're holding it off, which I mean, how do people feel about that? Because we we talked to get out. Let's see, I want to say two shows ago or something about the whole. If you're not going to say anything about it, then don't really even bring up the question. Yeah, stop giving us a bunch of useless filler bulletins, Frankie. We can barely hear you, Daft. <laughs> <laughs> FYI. But. I- Yes. Well, and, and the funny thing is, there uh, one of the questions that B.S. Angel was answering does kind of... You're wrong. <laughs> <laughs> does kind of answer that, and, and I'll read that off. <laughs> yes. Okay. Um, Look, the point is, uh, 343, um, yeah, just please don't give us these these these, these filler bulletins with all, with all this, you know, yeah. PR fluff. Like, oh, we'll, we'll show you at a later date. That's, that's wasting people's time. Just, just like I said, quality over quantity. Right. Well, th- this is more or less their response to this, and and this is the question that they're specifically answering is from VRTX Raptor, and he asks, "When will we get info on vehicles in Halo Four, also weapons?" And the response is. <clears throat> In the March 7th edition of the Halo Bulletin, we answered a slew of community-submitted questions. Some of them got detailed answers. Others got the customary, quote, you will be hearing more about that soon, unquote. Oh, yeah, you think? One of the reasons we include questions that weren't given specific answers is so you could get a clear understanding of what we're sharing right now versus what will be revealed on a later date. Oh, hey, in thanks, my opinion, man. any person in the right mind is going to know that anything that's not revealed in detail is going to be revealed at a later date. Yeah. Or you could just say, in general, these things are not going to be covered. Don't give us fancy po- poetic answers. Just say, we're not ready to discuss that this time. Check back later. Yeah, just, I mean, it's just pretty, put, pretty... like the list of questions that fall under, falls into that category into like a paragraph and be like, these are all the things that we're not ready to talk about campaign vehicles, weapons, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. I mean, I, I would think most, you know, dedicated halo fans who, who, who faithfully read the bulletins, are, you know, they don't ride the short bus, you know, despite what three, four, three may think. <laughs> right. No, no. I mean, there comes a point where, yeah, if they did that with just one or two and just said the rest, we're not ready to discuss it yet. Maybe that's fun. That's cool. They're they're showing a kind of humorous side of things. But when you do that to like ten different questions and basically give the same answer just worded differently, it gets annoying. Because we're looking for info. Yeah, we're look. We're not looking for non information. We're looking for information and just saying that we'll pick we're not apart ready to- those things like 
we like surgery, like you're tearing apart layers of of flesh, you know. <laughs> I mean, you really, literally, like a pair of tweezers, and you're pulling apart. Like we want to know everything. We want to know everything that's going on. So every freaking bulletin, is there even something in there that we can use? And when it doesn't have anything, yep, yep. It's well, it's, it's like if if you should have just said for the five or six questions that you did answer with detail, <laughs> do that, and then. There should be just a big statement at the bottom that says, for everything else, we are not ready to discuss those I topics. Know. You know. Or uh, they will be discussed at a future date. Some will be soon. Some will be not so soon. And leave it at that. Nice, short, simple, sweet. Everybody's satisfied. Not these vague descriptions of future posts that are going to highlight some little detail about something. You guys, like are, you guys are forgetting something. Hooks. Can I say something? Can I? What? I just gotta say something. You're forgetting what these bulletins are. They're not specs. They are blogs. But that's the way three four three delivers information. <sighs> but this is it's a blog. It's 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 just like. Anybody, it's but you don't want to read a blog with filler, right? You want to well, read the blog with with substance and entertainment. You don't want to read it that right. And uh, after on, a while, it gets dull and boring because you're the just have, reading right, something the bull- that's rehashed, just worded differently. Well, I read. I know when I go into reading the bulletin, I look. I I know it's not going to be full of info. I go that. I know that going in. I actually but, just see how they're trying to write it. I mean, and as I far get that as, too, but you don't have to fill more than half the bulletin with the same thing regurgitated twice and and yeah. rearranged in, the, in a different order. I mean, yeah. Listen, we we it's not our first. All of us here, it's not our first rodeo. We've seen this before. We've seen the the, the updates, blogs, the weekly updates from another studio, from from Bungie, and from. Other developers, it's this is not unusual what's being done here or different than what no, a lot but of, it's still annoying. Even I know, I know, I know it because we want. I just feel like it's. I don't want. I don't want us to come to this because you want them to stop writing. I'd no, I don't want them write. to stop writing, but I don't want them to just like waste my time with coming with up with clever <laughs> wording. I want them to be just. I know. I, I mean, know, have, you know throw the one, throw the one or two good, kind of funny things in there, and then just say everything else. You, yes, you want a chock full, and you know what? It's just not. It's not the right time. Chock full is later. It's just not now. That's the thing. Right, but I mean, <sighs> we don't. We're not gonna get. We're gonna get the shit update now. We're gonna get the crap. You well, gotta be yeah, patient. I, I, we're gonna get. I, so I know much we're crap. gonna. We're not we're gonna, gonna get, get so much stuff later. Later. Yeah, I know we're not gonna get everything that we want right now, but it doesn't. That doesn't have, mean that they have to go. So, so you say what you're pretty much saying is just no. Then maybe we shouldn't just do updates right now. Save it for later, which I can somewhat agree with. Okay, fine. So either it's all or nothing. Is what you're saying. I'm no, not all, no, I'm not, I'm not, no, I'm not saying all or no, nothing. I'm saying I'm talking about closer to the date. So fine, 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 no, fine. I'm just, I'm just saying. I don't, I'm not saying that's bad either, but I'm just saying like you're, you're not. What do you, what do you expect to get right now? I mean, I'm not expecting much, but I don't. They gotta I do think, something. I think, I think you're taking my my extreme to a little more extreme, where it's it's like, yeah, I'm I, I'm not expecting to get much information, but. For, I mean, the information we do get, how however small it is, that's great. But I don't want a bloat load of non-information, which is what we got on that bulletin. Yes, it, it's it's the bloat, it's the bloated stuff that I have a problem with. It's not the the small amount of information because I mean, it's a game in development. They they want to keep stuff hidden from public to surprise the public. I'm totally cool with that. I'm I'm yeah, all and for you that. They know what they're that. doing. It's I, it's the bloat 
uninformation that I have a problem with. And the fact that more than half of that bulletin was bloat was just – it rocked my boat too much. All right. End of that discussion. I, no, no, no. No, 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 no. It's not – it's – yeah, it's – it's something we talked about for too long. I know. I, you know what? It. I just feel like we are so spoiled. <laughs> <laughs> we really are. I just really feel we are. I just. I. I'm sorry. It's getting. It's getting. And not. I'm not saying it's your fault either. It's just. It's. I think it's just a wave, of, of. Uh, of of gaming development and stuff that we get and the attachment with the internet you know i'm older man so of course i never had any of this stuff i'm so appreciative and that's maybe where this is coming from like <laughs> i get to have this much more connection on the internet just be able to, i can go there and do it the fact that there's even a bulletin is awesome to me Okay. Yeah, I mean it's great and for I the developers want, to touch base. And I don't want to be that guy. I don't want to be that old guy. Just say, oh, the you guys have internet. You didn't have that when I was a gamer. I don't want to be that guy. But it, but I do want to say, is that would you rather not have communication at all? That's I'm making it I'm that simple. I know. I'm I'm, I'm I'm not trying to. Make, I don't know. I I I like. I, I like the I like the bulletins. I've been enjoying her writing. No, the, I mean I I enjoy it too. It's just that one instance was. What do you mean? Oh, so it's only just one. For for the one? waypoint bulletin so far, yeah. Oh, I mean, best. but I mean th- that happens with a lot of game developers where yeah. when there's a big release like that, there's a lot of. Oh, and, so the only last one or the uh, or in general. Well, I mean, in in general, when there's a big release of information about a game, and when the developers are responding, yes. if 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 there's a lot of bloated uninformation, that really ticks me off because <laughs> they're not. I mean, yes, answer the the stuff in detail that you want to answer in detail. No, it's fine. The, the stuff that you don't want to answer, don't go all out and be. Fancy schmancy dancing around the topic. Just say, no, we're not ready to talk about it. Don't come up with 20 different ways to say we're not ready to talk about it, which is what seems to happen on a regular basis for the gaming industry. Well, this is – it's a spin. Well, not even necessarily a spin, but it's also – I mean, it's just business. I mean, I just don't think it's any different than what <laughs> – we usually say. Anyways. Yes. Yes. Moving on. Uh, Super Jackpot this weekend is 20,000 credits. Oh. So if you're playing Reach, and this should come out on Saturday, so that means you'll probably have about a day and a half to get the 20,000 credit jackpot. <laughs> but that's a pretty nice sum of uh, credits there. I know. Let's see. I guess it was yesterday or the day before. I got we got a six thousand credit jackpot, which was nice. That was pretty pretty nice. And I got to play with Lewis Wu. Ooh. Although he was on the other team. We we beat B their team though. It was it was CTF on high noon. Sorry. Legend. Sorry sorry, Claude. <laughs> Legendary. We beat you. We should have shot him. Shoot him. <laughs> you, you didn't bow down, right? You shoot him, right? Oh yeah, we we killed him plenty of times. Oh good, good. good. <laughs> Actually, the the friend I was playing with was trying to ninja him. So <laughs> the most famous, <laughs> famous. Of an, I don't know who. I like I like to think who's the most famous in the Halo. I know, I know, I, I know. I killed Claude probably about two or three times. So it was cool, to say the least. Uh, what else do we have? Um, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> yes, funky sound effects for the win. I just like in uh, in Halo Three, Bungie uh, put a. Um, they never did. I don't think they did this for anybody else. 
they put next to his gamer tag pro. Wait. Huh? Like like you know how you like right now in Reach like or in actually in well in Halo three they put like you could put like that uh, underneath your gamer tag. The nameplate. Yeah, the nameplate. That's right. Nameplate. Um you put there you could put something special. You know, they had Bungie at one point. It was uh, a couple other things. But there was one right, thing. The Halo symbol, the Master Chief helmet, yeah, the seventh yeah, column thing. Yeah. It, yeah. But in Halo and remember, 3, come March 31st, you can't change only... those. So yeah. make sure you choose which one you want because that's the one you're going to be stuck with. Oh, really? Yep. I'm good. I'm good with mine. Um, I'm good with mine too. The whole Halo 3 thing. Ooh. Oh, I'm going to bring that up in a minute. Yes. It's funny. It's funny. It's, it's 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 sad. Well, it's it's part of uh, what we've grown up what we've grown up with over the years. We've we'll we'll up. get to it in a minute. Finish so finish your thing. So anyway, so Claude had um, I think it was only Claude. I I think because it was only one, one or two other things. Yeah, it said pro. <laughs> hmm. So I just like what I'm not. I never got a straight answer, but I think what it is is that. He would get so much for being a pro, like because he had it tagged to his name, <laughs> that people would just give him so much that's about funny. being a pro. That's <laughs> He's funny. like, "Fuck now! Now everybody wants to shoot me because that's I'm a pro." And and then he put like I think he put like you know how you can put in your um, Xbox Live profile something different like a little message. I think he put like not pro because <laughs> like stop I'm not oh. pro. <laughs> I think. Hold on. Let me see if it's still there. You mean in the profile? <laughs> yeah, on his friends thing. Let me see. That's funny. I think that was it's a bad, but well, you can also set your zone to like recreation, pro, underground. Yeah, no, no, it's not that, but it's just no, no. But in specifically, that was only a Halo Three thing, and it it didn't carry over to Halo Four into uh, Reach. Reach. Actually. No, there's nothing. He got particular for that. From what I understand, though, it was only him. Here he is. Hold on. Well, I mean, he did receive the first ever Claude Herrera not, Award. Yeah, it says not pro. <laughs> Still, to this day, I've seen that forever. I mean, the thing is, a lot of your community members aren't, like, the best around. I mean, you usually have community members that are a lot better than you, but... No, but... Yeah, I know, but it's still... We don't have not, enough time to focus not, on becoming professional... <laughs> No, but it's just the bust his balls. I just know that's a ball busting thing. That's all I know what that is. <laughs> it's totally just a ball busting thing, I think. That's funny. Bungie that... wanted to bust his balls. That's funny. <laughs> Cause, yeah. There's a variable in there. If gamer tag is Louie Woo, nameplate equals. Bro. That's funny. That's funny. I think I think that's where that comes from. I'm gonna go out and laugh. Interesting. Another question that was asked on the bulletin was, can we get a brief overview of what will happen to Waypoint on and after March 31st? And um, the response was that we'll see something in next week's bulletin. I'm hoping that we'll see something along the API stats and the file share stuff. I hope that we get some information on that soon because that's, that's been a pretty big deal for a lot of people because that kind of kills Forge Hub. That kills HaloTracks.org, I think. But all those all those places that depend on file share links, that kills a lot of communities out there, unfortunately. Yeah. They've known that for a little while now. And it, it sucks. And there's no more Bungie Pro. And, I mean, just just so everyone knows... Uh, I'm I'm contemplating right now to have a capturing service. Um, <laughs> right now, if you want to send me, if you're a member of the forums, send me a PM with with um a request to cap clips, and, and I'm not going to do any special camera stuff, but I'll just uh, cap clips straight, and I'll upload them to my site, and uh, I can do that for you. Just because I can, you can still search for file shares in Reach by gamertag. So that's that's one of the nice things that you can do. But um, depending on how many requests I get, if it's small enough, I'll just say that it's going to be free for all 
Potacular form goers, and I might extend the service out and have it be a paid service. So I'm, it's something I've been contemplating. But if you do have something that you do need cap and you are a member of the Potacular forums, feel free to send me a PM and I will cap it for you. All right. In 720p. Or get a capture card. A little out of their budget. Take it about yourself to record your <laughs> stuff. Uh, I know. You know what? It's you're one to talk running on ancient hardware. <laughs> well, it's not. That's not. Listen, it, it, for you who runs through a camcorder. Yes. Well, I mean, there's if we wouldn't be where we are today if um, if people don't take it upon themselves. To record their own stuff. I mean, we're we're. It is this, you know, the whole thing of of the. Uh, we're moving to Xbox mm-hmm. and Microsoft. I hope it, it sounds like it should be a smooth tra- transition. You would think. We're gonna lose some operability. You know what? I I've we're gonna lose a big stand. part of it though. I mean, file shares have been. Ever since Halo 3, it's been a huge thing about Halo that no one else has. Absolutely. Is the ability to share films, screenshots, gonna, game types. But there's not going to be any any um, anything in Reach and Halo 3, isn't there? Not going to be any... We're not going to lose any functionality, right? It's still going to be there, right? I mean, all the stuff in-game still would work. I in-game would will. Maybe website will be different. And I mean, what about all those Halo 3 players that still play that can't do their file share stuff anymore either? That's not good. Nope, it's not. <laughs> it's not. It's that's that's one of the big issues that, that quite a few communities have been talking about is what's going to happen now that we are not going to have those tools anymore. Are we, is it cut off? Is there a cut off for Halo 3? No, there's I, Reach is full, going to be fully supported. No, all the, I mean, in terms of like going and finding file sets and stuff, you, you won't be able to do that anymore on, on the website. I know. Maybe not on the website, but what about in game? Because that's most important. No, oh, well, you can, I mean, there's, there's still a good portion of it that's outside the game that's, that's, yeah, it doesn't affect the functionality of the game, but it's still an aspect of the Halo community that's been sure. kind of an essential core that now we're losing. Yep. So, uh, the th- rumor is, or this is something that maybe I've seen somewhere or heard, is that they may have a somewhat of a solution coming out in the next three months in terms of an API. Um Oh, good. Until then, though, it's a lot of the, I mean, Forge Hub especially, it's going to be suffering a heavy loss. And, like, Halo uh, charts, if it was still running, that would be killed. It's already, well, yeah, right? Yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm saying if it was still running, that well, API yeah, is gone. Well, yeah, we talked about the API. The API is... Yeah, it's not happening. I don't think I mean, they have the... Uh, the API, and I was planning to use API for Potacular, and, and I can't do that anymore either. Mm. I mean, I was planning to pull, like, for the new forums, what I was going to do on, on your profile was make some of your base Halo Reach stats available to display on your post profile and your your home profile, but now that won't be possible anymore. So, I mean, 343 has a lot of weight on their shoulders for that decision. And, I mean, I don't know the dynamics behind it. I know there's some tension between Bungie and 343. No, something like that. Well, there's it's, there have been it's, rumors it's, that it's, that's the case, that, that well, Bungie's just fed up and, shut, and basically told 343 that that's when they're shutting stuff down. And, I mean, I don't know the details behind it. I don't know if that's true or not, but... Well, if... This could even have been better orchestrated. Even basically. if there is or if, is it a TIFF, some final number still has to be given or final date. So, yeah, I mean, they have to move on. Well, so 
I'm going to say, like, Bungie has to but move the, on. But the transition. Do you think 343 3 wants to leave it there either? It's mutual. The transition could have been better, though, and, and at least file share support should have been. I mean, if if the API thing disappeared, I'm, I mean, tough luck. I'm all right with that. Know. But I, the, I, the I, whole I, thing I about file share on the web going I, away, that's a big issue. Not just the Bungie Pro thing, but being able to click on the link and say, oh, okay, here's a file. Download it to my Xbox. Now that process takes 10 times longer as you have to say, okay, this is my gamer tag, and it's in this lot number. And it, you have to go on, use the D-pad to type in the name, and then click on it, which takes a whole lot longer. Yeah, it's, it's a lot harder to – it's going to be – a lot harder to share forge maps and custom game types now and and screenshots because i mean look at look at all the the stuff that revolves around having screenshots you don't have screenshots anymore that you can get to from a website well that's a big issue too i mean I look at it. all the pictures that they have for the bulletin how how are they going to get those i don't know <laughs> I, I, they probably have an internal tool, tool that they can do that with. But, I mean, <laughs> therein lies the issue where, I mean, a lot of the oh, sites uh, with, that use screenshots are going to have problems now. Well, this is this is us definitely being a community that was supported with all these features. Uh, you know, it's everything's going to seem like a step back. I mean, if we don't – I don't know. I don't know – I'm I'm out Maybe I'm we'll on Waypoint site right now. <laughs> well, no in a week. Yeah, so that's the thing. Like, it. I'm not. I'm. I can't comment. I'll tell you this. I can't comment because I know that. That's when you all ask the Jessica details you're week. talking about. <laughs> I, what? That's when you ask Jessica next week. Well. <laughs> everything we're talking about. <laughs> Is sorry, I'm, Jess. To I'm call taking you out like that. <laughs> I know no, 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 no. I'm not. I'm not. Next week, um, the things we're talking about now is a lot of what she does at 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 Waypoint. Yeah. This is a lot of what we're talking about right now. This kind of almost everything we're talking about is what. We talk about, but that's not what I'm really. <laughs> it's not really what I'm what I'm going to focus on that much about it. But I am going to talk about though. I am definitely going to talk about um, what we're what we're talk what we're feeling or 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 what we've been spoiled with because that's essentially True. what we are. We're yeah. spoiled brats. So. But, I mean, but that's, we that's also one of the gotta be, we gotta be better than that. Though. If you look at we it, gotta that. be better. But we gotta step beyond that, and that's I'm one of the biggest things I want to talk about next week. We gotta talk. We gotta talk beyond that. We gotta we gotta look at these guys differently than, and we as people we already are, but they're not. I mean, it's just and it's, it's just hard to, to see be. something like that happen, and and really wonder how much thought went into this decision. You mean for for the way they've been. You mean for the for how, the, for how the API thing... and all this stuff for the for the website and all that stuff? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, uh, one has to ask, right? Yeah, one can ask, but all I know is that any kind of um, cross-platform, any any kind of data integration. It's not pretty. It's not pretty. <laughs> it's not. It's not fun. You want to move. You want to move all that stuff to one other platform and be able to have the tools to control it with your own software and have it translate. It's not pretty. It's not pretty. So yeah, we'd like you like to take it all what you remember. And put it over there, put a new skin on. It's not that easy. I, I don't think I, I, I everybody goes into it with good intentions. You know? 
but then snags start to hit and you get and you get this you get like oh f- it's gonna take hours of input it's gonna be days of input we can't get it to translate this database ain't gonna work i mean bungie did it <laughs> yeah so i mean so, but i, I like to think it there. was tech i ho- listen all i'm saying from this step i don't know i have no clue I have yeah. no idea. I don't know shit. I don't know nothing. I don't know anything. You know nothing? All I, I know nothing. <laughs> <laughs> All I'm saying is I like to think that it was that kind of shit and not where there was some kind of rift. Why, why there was a problem. Plus, I'd like to, I'd like to, uh, I, 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 don't, I like to think it was it was not <laughs> what we're thinking because <laughs> it's fun. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You seem pretty quiet. You still with us? Nope. He's watching a Mitt Romney. <laughs> <laughs> He's gone. Mania zombie attack. He's gone. Uh, he loved us. So yeah, I don't know. We uh we got we'll, we'll talk to Jessica next week. Um, that would be fun. Yes. We're, we're going to get fired but, over and over and over again, aren't we? Well, I've probably already been fired. She already told me I was going to be fired before next week. And it's probably, this is probably where. <laughs> Yay, both you and me are fired from this podcast. <sighs> I don't know. You guys, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I've got some feelings. And I'm going to, the feelings are, everybody just take a f- Take it easy. <laughs> easy, boy. Easy now, everybody. Easy. Calm down. It's okay. We're not whining. We're just debating. No. Yeah, no. <laughs> no. It's not that. It's fine. And everybody's been, no, it's fine. It's easy. It's okay. People really haven't been really whining that much, actually. I thought it would be worse. But well, I mean, there's, what helps, I mean, it's it, it helps because that there's a actually, lot of, well, they did a good job. I mean, granted, they're doing everything they can with with what they have available, but I mean, I guess, like you said, we are kind of spoiled, <laughs> and and yeah. there there are high expectations within the Halo community. Yes, that's the thing. We are spoiled. We're spoiled brats, and that's pretty much what I'm gonna say. I just think we're spoiled brats. <laughs> it's really, you know. Not pretty. It's not pretty, but, you know, recognize that and it, and it makes it easier. That's all. I just hope we hear something next week in that bulletin. Fingers crossed. I don't think you will. Eh, we might not. One can always I, have, so. I haven't been expecting anything. I, I don't know. Is it just me? I mean... Everybody's expecting stuff. Is that what's going on? I'm not expecting anything. Well, I mean, it's expecting to the point where we we care the about. Is well, a while away, man. At, at least th- this this is kind of my argument, and I'm sure this argument applies to other people. But I mean, it's Halo. It's it's the thing we love, and we don't want to see it necessarily fail. And yeah, I mean, so three four three still has a um, very very big pair of shoes to fill from what Bungie left behind with. I know, and we want it now is what you're saying. It, the, we're only talking about timing. Like, You know these things are going to come in later updates and later uh, details about the game. They can yeah, only but I mean, on the long, it's so like much. It's like the longer that we don't hear something, the more worried we get. And I mean, that, that's just the nature of the beast. It's really? like, it's like, yeah, I, 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 I get that. I, and, I agree with that. Yes. I can understand that. Yeah, it's it's just patience that, by that's, young Pat. <laughs> it's, that's just how a majority of gamers react. Absolutely, absolutely, they want it now. You're you're talking more about being spoiled because we've been yeah. spoiled with so much information. We can, we want it. I mean, I'm I'm I mean, I I get that. I'm just trying especially to especially us. I mean, yeah, well, especially I'm not I'm not trying to sound like I'm complaining or or. Being a, a sore yes. loser or anything, but it's, it's, I mean, these are issues that the Halo community as a whole are having to deal with. And, and what? They're, not they're getting your information should... too fast. What? Not getting your information too fast? No, 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 no. 
the, like the whole th- no, the like the whole thing about losing file share. First world problems. The the whole thing about losing file share and API stuff. That's the, oh that stuff. Yeah. Oh, no. I'm sorry. Yes. You, you no the whole information, the speed of information is. I mean, they're gonna come out with it whenever they feel like they want to come out with it. But it's it's, it's the I'm talking about the present issues, like the. Oh. I thought we were being spoiled. I thought we were going back and spoiled being. Oh no! I, in the, uh, I thought you were talking about yeah, we're spoiled and yeah, we have all these nice features that Halo has. Oh God, we are way off topic. I guess yeah, so I we guess we were def- running in in two di- two different directions there. Well, we got fired and all that stuff. Yeah, yeah. There's always that complication. Anyways, he does the bulletins. <laughs> But so yes, I mean okay. I so I guess to wrap up this little this little discussion, <laughs> yes, three three for three does have some information they are withholding, and they'll they'll come out with it when they're ready to come out with it. And yeah, I mean there are some things, granted beyond our control. That, no. <laughs> granted beyond our control, like the file shows going offline uh, and the API that up. that are a concern for a good majority of people. And hopefully 343 has some kind of solution for it three, four, three, soon. 343. Let's see. Let's move on to some other things. <laughs> it sounds like a, a Hitler chant. <laughs> three, three, four, three. Uh, Hitler's uh, right. Okay. No. <laughs> no Keat. No. Sorry, I'm just being me. Yeah, I know you are. Uh, there is a repopulate Halo 3 movement that will be happening on April 7th. Apparently there's been a Reddit post and, uh, our fellow Green Skull over... Is this, is this the thing before, I'm sorry, is this the thing before Halo 3 gets, the data goes over? Is that what this is, the night before that? No, this is the, this is... The week during PAX, actually. This is a week after that happened. For, for just for the sake of playing Halo Three, or is there yeah. any reason? Just just oh. for the sake of sake of playing Halo Three. Oh, okay. But uh, I guess I'm guessing this is a movement started on on Reddit. Granted, I'm not a Reddit goer, so I really don't know. But our buddy uh, Green School over at Ready Up Live also posted a video about it. Um, interesting timing, being that. At least I'll know I'll be at PAX. You'll be at PAX. There's there's a good, I'm sure, a good number of Halo community member leaders that will be at PAX. So playing Halo 3 on that date, I don't know, seemed a little odd to me at first when I heard about it. Granted, I, I'm not opposed to the whole movement at all about playing Halo 3 for a day. It just seems like during a big gaming convention like PAX, why would you schedule something like that during that time? Hmm. But uh, yeah. I mean, I'll be taking my Xbox to PAX, so maybe after the PAX <laughs> stuff is over, I'll, I'll hop on Halo Three for an hour or two before I go to bed. I gotta tell you though, I'm not gonna do that. You're not gonna do that? Nah, I probably won't. <laughs> oh come on! Unless I was there, like and somebody had a controller and put me in front of it, well, I'm not gonna. I'll have it. I'll have four controllers in an Xbox. Oh yes. All right, then I'll Heck, play. I might have even two Xboxes. Ooh. I just need another copy of Halo Three. Wait, well, I have I have the orig- I have the regular Halo Three disc, and then I have the multiplayer disc. But I have all the map packs, so I guess it could work out. Anywho, if <laughs> definitely, I guess tried to get on Halo Three on April seventh, um, and there there. I'm guessing that with how big the Halo community is, we'll probably jump up to 100,000. Because, let's see, what's... I would say a regular player base on Reach is anywhere from 250,000 to 100,000, right? Depending on the time of the day. Or 150,000. What would you think? Um... I mean, that, that seems oh. about the, the the range of players that kind of varies for Halo Reach is between 25 or 250,000 and 150,000 at any given time. That's what it tells us. That's what the game tells us. So I, I would think with the Halo 3 day. So 
that we might see a hundred thousand. Granted, with packs, I'm not sure that number might be a little smaller, but I, I would assume we could easily get to a hundred thousand. If you if you promote it right. Well, I, I mean, don't it's know. on Reddit, so. Yeah. I that's that's, that's just, a big promotion in and of itself. It does seem like, there. you know what? I'll tell you this. I don't think we should be concerned. Like, yeah. try to do it. I think we have enough to do. We only get, we only have. I'm just making the announcement. That's all. I know it's cool, but I'm just saying, like, we only have that weekend to actually hang out with each other in this capacity. I really yeah. think we should focus on other things. I mean, I go back and hop on Halo Three every now and then. But Pax Mostly is, to try to get those bloody achievements that I don't have. Only, I know, but in fact, Pax is only so long. Right. You know, it's a short period of time, actually. I just think the timing is a little bit weird. It is. It does seem weird. I I'd, I'd be a full participant, maybe in any other way. Actually, I miss Halo Three <laughs> a lot. I never thought I would. Well, it's a, it's different than Reach. That's a, that's what's been great about it. <laughs> so, yeah. Yep. Uh, so. Hopefully, um, by the time you listen to this podcast, the there's a sale on Amazon right now, and I, from what I read, it's actually a clearance. But you can get the Halo Reach Limited Edition. That's the one that comes with Halsey's Journal, uh, the a UNSC access card, a a badge. And a couple other things. You can get that for twenty eight bucks or twenty seven eighty two to be be specific. So that's a eighty dollar value marked on probably about seventy percent. So you can Thank get you. that on Amazon. Uh, let's see. The legendary edition is seventy seven dollars and the standard edition is twenty two fifty. The book alone, the Halsey book alone, is worth that price. I actually haven't read it yet. <laughs> oh, it's, it's it's very nice. I, I really, I'm it, probably it being shunned you. by a few people. One of them being Grim Brother One. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he will. He will come down, strike down with furious anger. Strike down. Straight Although I I have started rereading the Fall of Reach, I got through the first four chapters, so um, I'm hoping by the time I make my move up to my new job, I will be done with the first book and be reading the second book. <sighs> Just read the Ghost of Onyx. I've started that book three times and I haven't been successful, so I'm starting from the beginning and just kind of well, bashing I my think way you need to read the fall of reach before the ghost of onyx yes well, yeah, I've read the fall of reach before but it was like eight years ago <laughs> so I'm basically just kind of rereading to to reacquaint myself with some of the minor details that you don't remember yep I definitely don't <laughs> so oh. but um like let's see all the lines, like remember the flashback things from Halo Three, the Cortana flashbacks. Yes. All those lines are from Doctor Halsey in the third chapter of that book. Just about every single line is is something Doctor Halsey said to all of these Spartans, that first group of kids that they recruited. It was a line that she said to all of them. Which, I mean, since since it was so long since I read the book, I didn't even make that connection. But once I saw that, I'm like, holy crap. Yes. But, I mean, so those those are the kinds of little things that you get when you read the books. And it's pretty pretty interesting. The books are good. The books are good. I'm not saying they're not. I'm just saying that I need to read them and I need to catch up. But I hope uh, to I hope I, to have you know read. What? I never asked you what books you did read. I read the first three, and that's all I've completed. The For, so fall of reach. So fall of reach, the flood, and the flood first strike. And first strike. Good, but the flood is terrible. <laughs> well, aside this. Well, it's 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 not terrible. It's just it's, is, it's hard to write. Talk, yeah, it's hard to write about it. Yeah. Character. 
So the, the but, nice thing the, about the, the book is, at least after you get through the first half, it does track the Marines on the other parts of the ring. So if if you well, read if you read yeah that's the best part when they talk about what happens yeah. to the other one. if you read the book about the first half of the book is at least this is from what I remember I could be a little off but the first half of the book is almost verbatim what you play in the game and yes. then once you, once you hit about the halfway point you see the split where it's going back and forth between the chief and these groups of marines that are on the other parts of the ring. Yeah, it wasn't too that bad. I mean, you, you really no. it got it got really beat down. Well, one critics. of the things was it was a different style of writing. Some people didn't yeah. like the writing style of uh, who was it? Dean something. He, you know what? It's only good for uh, Dean Coots or something. What, what was his name? Uh, um, I'll look it up real quick. It was only good for a first read through, and that's it. You wouldn't want to reread it. Uh. William Dietz. William Dietz, yes. He, did, he actually went on to do some good stuff. I mean, it's, it's not a horrible book. No, it wasn't. It's but different. Dude, it's when you different. play it as a video game and then you read that, oh, you're just yeah. like... Oh, definitely. It's confusing to you. It doesn't... Your head, your 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 eyes, when you're looking at the, the, uh, the words, they're almost looking in first-person view. You're like... You really actually are very freaked out by it. I think it's very weird to read a book about a first person shooter. I don't know. I I didn't find much of a problem with it to be honest. No, it wasn't that bad. I mean, I, I, I enjoyed I, the I extra little connect. tidbits cuz there's there's some extra no, extra I dialogue in there for the chief and it's like, huh. I actually liked it. Yeah, yeah, I didn't. I I went into it like you're saying. I went into it like with an open mind saying, like, I can't look at this like I'm playing a game. I have to read this as a book. I have to read the story like that as a book. And it can be done. And he did a pretty good job. I mean, but it's just only so much you could do with it. Mm-hmm. But that's the thing. When you look at something like that and you wonder how people can make a movie or even a one singular video game with a story, it's hard. Yeah. With With a shooter. Right, you know, with a with a third person shooter, or any of that stuff. I mean, dude, try to write that. <laughs> try to script that. Try to be a do a script. There you go. Read Halo: The Flood. Okay, it's hard. Try to make a movie from it. Yeah, it's f- hard. Right. I mean, it just it just goes to show, and I mean, I guess it's kind of evidence to see that there hasn't been another book. That's been written on the games. No. And I mean, that's just kind of evidence to why maybe. I mean, it was it was good for them to try, maybe, and they just kind of figured out, and eh, maybe we shouldn't necessarily pursue this path every time, which yeah, is fine. Yeah. Doesn't mean the book well, was was horrible and all. It just means no, it, doesn't, no. it just it, doesn't quite fit with Halo. Yeah, it, it's just you go for you know what it's build. It is build the the book is build as the story of the Master Chief right. during the game of Halo. It's built that way. So you know what? Maybe it shouldn't have been built that way. Maybe it should have been built, you know, like yeah, the Master Chief's in there, but it was built that way. It's built <laughs> along the side of Grim should be in here right now. Oh, yeah, he would totally... I bet you he would totally agree with me. <laughs> and he's right on, dude. He's totally yeah. knows. Oh, yeah. And just so, so everyone knows, totally... I'm reading the original books, not the revised ones. I'm reading the original ones. So... You read the, oh, the original ones? Yeah. Well, you're like, Didn't George Lucas changed them. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see, what else? There... On HBO, there was a post... Uh, some old Halo 2 alpha and beta footage showed up. And there's apparently for the BR, like if you were just regularly shooting, it was the, the three burst, three shot burst. And then if you were zoomed in, it was the one shot, which I thought was pretty cool. And I think I mentioned on some podcast that we did recently where I thought that kind of thing would be kind of pretty cool to have for the br but i don't know 
I guess they took it out for a reason. Uh, there were some other things on there, like they had a mongoose in there that kind of the the mongoose physics was definitely kind of funky. Uh, I think I think in one of the comments they basically said that it was basically a warthog. It was just a mongoose body, like all the warthog assets, like the the sounds of it driving and and the the physics of the mongoose just acted just like the warthog. It was just the mongoose body. But uh, so there's there's some of that if you want to check out HBO and check out some old footage of Halo 2 stuff. Uh, we also have um, Playtime Season 3 premiering next week on Tuesday. Uh, I will say that you're you're going to en- enjoy it. I think um, this one is going to be 10 episodes long, so we'll see. I release every Tuesday for 10 weeks. So definitely going to be a lot longer than the last two seasons. And uh, just kind of promoting this for Cruel Legacy. He's been on the show once, maybe. I don't know. Maybe he hasn't. I'll have to get him on, though. Yeah, he's been on once. We, we did a Playtime show about it. Gosh, I'm stupid. It was the, it was the last one before he we went AWOL for Christmas. Uh, but... Be sure to check that out on Tuesday. It's on. It's going to be on Waypoint and YouTube, so you can check that out. Uh, I think that's pretty much all the stuff I wanted to cover today. We had our big Waypoint discussions. Gosh, that took up a lot of time. And Daft, I think, is still gone. Daft, are you back? I'm going to take that as a no. <laughs> all right. Uh, a couple of announcements for Potacular is that uh, if you haven't already, go ahead and drop by our beta forums. Uh, we have some kind of just dummy forums set up for me to develop the new theme and uh, some new mods for the forums. And once that's done, which will be who knows when... Uh, but once once that's done, it's going to actually replace the forums that are currently there. But I have icon the new icon packs out, and you will probably see some updated theme changes as well coming within the next week or so. I'm hoping to get the bulk of that done before I start my job on the 9th of April. So uh, I'm asking a lot of people to come over just kind of critique the work and make suggestions because this is kind of where you guys hang out and talk to each other. So I want this to be uh, as much as your forms as it is something that I am, I would be happy to be making and be proud of. So please definitely go over there and check it out. There is a link up on the top of the current forum page, or if you just want to go there directly, it's beta.pottacular.com slash forums. And uh, you won't see anything until you register, so make sure you just go ahead and register. You'll get an email link, and then you just click the link in the email, and you're good to go. Uh, Also, we have a new voicemail number. Um, The one that we had actually got terminated. Apparently, um, if one of the numbers on the the service that we get it from is not active for 30 or 60 days, I don't remember which it was, but if there are no calls for a certain amount of time, the account gets terminated. So we had to go create a new one. And there's no fancy acronym for this one, so it might be a little harder to remember. But the phone number is 206-339-6937. So if you want to leave a voicemail that will be played on the show... And you can send in a tale, a funny story from Halo. You can send in um, your customs and game types and just kind of talk about it and and share your file share and and where the file is so people can download it and try it out. 1-800-GOFLABLABLAB. No, that's 206-339-6937. GIFLABLABLAB. So... Feel free to call us, uh, leave any kind of Halo-related message of any kind, or leave us something well, random, and 
one hundred. If it's funny enough, we might just put it in the show, or if it's not, we'll just print it out and throw it away. Orifice. Oh, is this thing on? Okay. Yes, it is on. Contrary to popular belief. So there is that slight change to the to the show. Sorry for, I guess, giving out false information for the past you two or three ass. times I announced it. I was not aware that the voicemail didn't exist anymore. But Oof. one of our yes. submitters pointed it out, and the problem is fixed. So you can actually go on over there. And it you is got pretty- called out on it? Oh. Yeah, I got called out on it. You. Well, I mean, it was it was something I inherited, it, and I really didn't look at the details of the service, so I I really didn't know that there was a restriction on. Mm. But there is. We're still using the same service. It's it's free, but you can definitely give it a call, and I will make it the point to call it myself every month and make sure it's working, so it won't go down. <laughs> and. Uh, we do have one that came in, but once we get a few more, I'll I'll go ahead and put a segment together, and we'll play those on the show. Uh, I think that's a wrap. I don't think I have any more information to really give you guys. That's a wrap. Uh, if you guys are going to PAX, uh, be sure to let me know, and oh. either tweet me or email me, and and we'll try to meet up. I'll be most likely hanging out with other Halo people, like Keat. I don't want to hang out with you. Aw. Be nice well, to listeners. Well, with you, I do. But not the people you talk. Oh, I know I know you I know you want to hang out with me. <laughs> Come on, it'll be fun. It's always fun to meet new people. Yes, yes. I'm going to do the moonwalk. You're going to do the moonwalk. Ding, 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 ding. Oh boy! And you, you're old. You're old. Just so I let you let you know you're old. You've been hit by. You've been struck by a spoon criminal. Dim 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 dim. dim. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm excited for Paxies. We're gonna have fun. Oh, it's gonna be a blast. Fun. Oh yeah, yeah it's gonna be fun. All right, so we're gonna record from there, right? Yeah, we're gonna do hopefully. Some kind of recording. Uh, hopefully, it'll be just more than me and Keith. Do it live. Well, we might do it live. Who knows? Maybe. Maybe. If we do do it live, I'll, I will definitely make sure I post details a week in advance so people will actually see that we'll do a live show, not not kind of the lame excuses oh, what, that we've done what in the if, past. What if we decide spontaneously to just do it live? From We might get seven listeners at the most. That's okay. Is that all right? That's okay. I mean, yeah, that's that's okay. That's fine with me. It's just a little more effort. That it's still going to be recorded. <laughs> it's not like oh yeah. Amazing. Oh, definitely. So we'll just. It's just if you listen to it live, you get the unedited, non-bleeped version. Either way, we're going to be in packs all together, right. so we're going to do something. Right. Yeah. That's all. Indeed. Indeed. All right. Well, thank you guys for tuning in to this show. And uh, Greg should be back next week. Um, in terms of what we're talking about, I don't know again. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're, I mean, right now we're taking it week by week since we really don't have much Halo 4 info. And, and we're kind of... Because we're spoiled. <laughs> yeah, yep. it's true. That's true. That's okay. Me too. But right now I'm just pulling stuff from HBO, and we are going to have a show probably wow. next oh. month about some machinima that's going on and some other podcasts. Um, Forward Unto Dawn and the Dustin Echoes podcast just started – well, they started last year actually, but they haven't been really releasing consistent episodes until this year. So um, – once I get a chance to actually going around and listening to them, uh, I'll probably make contact with them and try to get them on the show. There's also been some Halo Machinimas that have been out there. Uh, Halo Hell Jumpers is one of them. And there's a couple of, a couple other ones out there who some of them I've actually been in touch with. So we'll try to get some of them on the show as well. All right. 
in the next month. The next month being April. Um, also from last week, I forgot to mention this. Or I, I just kind of came up with it afterwards. But uh, we had Rob Ims from the Game Changers film on. Uh, I highly encourage everyone to go over and help out and donate. Even if it's just a couple of dollars. But uh, if you do go over there, in the comments, go ahead and post Heard on Podtacular. We want to see how many of our listeners uh, are donating to that kind of stuff. And see if we can get some kind of movement to kind of help Rob, Rob along. Until next time, keep on fagging trucks and see you yeah. at PAX. Yeah. And on what behalf of Saft, I guess, because he basically was not here the entire show. Womp womp. All right. Peace. Peace.